Hey, hello everybody, and welcome to a very special episode of uh, Harley and Mike Steel Stuff. Is that that's what's going on, right, Harley? We're just... <laughs> so, uh, um, thank you for joining us. We are doing a very special unboxing of a little thing called the um, what's it called? It's called the Greatest Thieves in Lake Bar. Isn't that correct, Harley? You have, you have something to do with, right? <laughs> So this see this is the greatest Lankmar project that we've ever released because I had absolutely nothing to do with it. So this is like this is like you know I I, I have I I am in I am in like I'm on like on tenter hooks because like I I don't know what awaits me. So you know so it's going to be my job to um to uh, to open things up and Harley is going to talk to you all about it. So that that's that's pretty good. So um so I don't know before we get into that. Why don't you, uh, you know, let's, let's, I mean, we don't want to unbox things right away, right? You know, like, we, <laughs> you know, I mean, otherwise we're done in 15 minutes, all these people can go home and do stuff. So, you know, so, so, so um, why don't you, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the Greatest Things in Lakemar there? Uh, so Greatest Things in Lakemar was the 2019 Gen Con tournament um, that we held, uh, myself and Mark Bruner, and some of the most amazing judges that I've ever had the privilege of running a tournament in. Uh, yeah, we ran it over the course of three rounds. We had almost innumerable deaths. No one team made it to the very end. And so I'm really excited to get like this adventure in the hands of players outside of Gen Con and, and, and see how it goes, see how it unfolds. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, I, if I remember the, uh, the, 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 the prizes award that year were pretty cool, right? For the greatest thieves. I, I remember. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, we, we found it. We found these really sweet, like a uh, thieves, tools kits like they were like they, they would they would unroll and you'd have a lock pick and a magnifying glass and a, like a vial of acid or something and so we we we'd put those on little trophy stands um and so you know the the the, the best team that would you know play in you know the greatest thieves in Mike Mar would walk away with these their own thieves kits that they could put up on the mantle and, and yeah remember their times under thieves house and you know being chased across the rooftops of like mar and through the yeah the rainbow palace mm. uh, so, so apparently uh jid Con is very strict about uh foam nunchucks but vials of acid and thieves, <laughs> and thieves kids, they, they're really kind of laid back about so <laughs> uh, oh so, all right well um well so I think we will slowly begin uh, doing the un unveiling process, but uh, as you can see, uh, you can't see anything right now. So I'm going to work a little ledger domain. This is a little something the gray mouser taught me, and it's called removing the lens cap. So you know, just be <laughs> so if I do it wrong, I may kill nine people. So hopefully we won't go that way. So all right, so let's just, let's go here. Ah, oh my God! All right, let's 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 hope like let's hope the camera can adjust. Eh, it looks like we're coming slowly in there. All right, I don't want to touch too much here, but all right, so. All right. All right. So I hope you can all see that. <laughs> so this is a, this is a slightly washed out cover of the greatest season like bar. Hopefully things will get a little clearer once we take the projected shrink wrap off. But in order to do that job, we have to use special tools. So I have I have scalpel tonight. I have my own very own scalpel, a Toledo blade from Toledo, Spain. I've had this for years and I can't think of any better reason to break it out than to uh, to cut open the greatest season like bar. <laughs> so, all right so i'm going in any words of advice hardly watch your exit but here why don't, why don't you pick it up like 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 this is this it, it has some weight to it right it has some heft and oomph for those of us playing at home it's, it's, it's at least like a dc 11 strength check just to pick that up box sets and this is like the heftiest perhaps with the sole exception of uh castle white rock the heftiest box set we've ever released like this is it's a it's a solid brick of Thank my goodness. Oh, dude, so let's, we'll take a, let's take a look. Take a look at that dimension right there. Let's look at that. Okay, so look at that. that's that. That's pretty thick. That's that's at least. Let, let me see. What's, do I have anything? Do I have anything here? No, I don't have. I don't. I don't have a die or anything. Anything. Nothing that's like random. General. Like like you know. Like like like, like thumb. There we go. Look at that. It's like it's, it's almost Curtis thumb size. So you okay. know. So so all right. So for your, it's like you know that that big. So <laughs> absolutely useless. <laughs> No. You have the thumb of eight gorillas, but yes, for those of, those of you playing at home, it's it's a it's a stout, it's 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 a, it's a serious box, uh, like it's it's full, and and well, and we should say that and that's that's thanks to, to all the Kickstarter package, right? I mean, the uh, the the uh, you know the adventure was written. We had we had run the adventure at Gen Con 
all the bits were done, but then it was thanks to the Kickstarter that um, we were able to pack it as full as we did. Very much so. I just I see somebody just sorry. So I do have it. I do have a DCC rule book within uh, within with, within reach. So there we go. So to give you an idea of what we're looking at here. Look, it completely covers it. So you know. So, all right. So look look at this. Look at this compared to right, comparatively. That's almost. Oh, it might even be maybe slightly. I think it's thicker. Look at that. Look at that. That's gigantic. <laughs> it's, That's gigantic. All right. Open it up. Let's see what's inside. I don't have room for this stuff. <laughs> oh. hey who did the cover of this oh well that is uh my friend and yours um doug kovacs but here, here, okay here, here's a really cool thing so while, while we're while we're looking at the cover and, and you're showing that off to people you can feel free to unwrap but um okay so the the conceit of the adventure is ming um is using their they're they're sending the uh the, the pcs off on a mission Right, and the PCs are led throughout the entire adventure by a Mingobbles ball. Uh, and so, if you, if you look at that front cover, if you can hold that up to the camera, you can see around the, the female's neck is this glowing bobble kind of drawing her further into the darkness, right? Mm -hmm. But okay, and, and so and so sweet. So like uh, Doug, he gives us Mingobble, he gives us you know the actual the the, the relic that's drawing the PCs on. Like any other artist would have been done, but. You count the number of eyes. Do it for me now. Ending double. How many? How many eyes are there, Mr. Curtis? There are six there. There are six because the seventh eye is the bobble itself. Now, I wish I was a cool enough gamer or designer to have come up with that idea. That like, oh, it's actually you had Ning Gobble's eye on a chain around your neck, drawing you through the tunnels beneath Thieves' house. But that's all Doug Comex. He took okay. the adventure. He came up with that, and, and, it, and for that reason alone, it's like probably one of the coolest covers that I've had the privilege of having something behind. That's just like it speaks to the brilliance that is Doug Kovacs. Hmm. Yeah, as, as always, I remember actually during the during the planning stage of the original DCC Lankmar stuff. It's like I remember having a, an like probably a good 15, 20 minute conversation with Doug about how many eyes Ningable has. You know, so it was just one of those things. It was just like <laughs> because he's Ningable of the seven eyes, but in the stories you only see six of them. No. Yeah. yeah. So no. Yeah. All right. So, so just, here. Uh, let, let me, should we flip this over and let's show the back cover? Oh, the, well, actually, the back cover has like what's inside. So I think that's a surprise. So we, sh we shouldn't show the back cover. No. <laughs> yeah. If you have one at home, don't look at it. All right. <laughs> In fact, throw it out right now. Just throw it out the window and, and go buy another one. <laughs> we, we do not recommend this. No, we don't. It's like I, I'm, we don't work on commission. So we, we, Charlie and I have already been paid. That's it. You know. No. All right. I'm, I'm going to open this thing. All right, all right. I, I think. Uh, uh, all right. You know, it looks like there's a hole there, but there's not. So, all right, I'm gonna go on the side. Be careful, man. There, there right. are Kickstarter backers that are still waiting for their copy. All right. So if I if I bleed out here live on Twitch, uh, <laughs> I want I want at least six more viewers. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's, let's, we'll see. We'll see if we can see it any better once the uh, the highly reflective shrink wrap comes off. There we go. Wait, can we just take a moment and appreciate how cool it is that we're releasing products in shrink wrap? Like, I remember going to TSR, like in fourth, or not TSR, like Toys R Us in fourth grade. I'm like, wow, here's like, I don't know, some incredible like D&D &D adventure in shrink wrap, and I don't know what's inside. And, and now we're getting like published stuff in shrink wrap. That's just amazing. I mean, I, mean, hey, I know the technology is nowhere than like you're cooking plastic around something, but how, I mean, it's, yeah, that's yeah, really you can actually you can actually you can see that you can see the details on the cover a little bit better now that now that they reflect your shrink rack is off all right so that's a pretty that's pretty pretty good i like that all right i love doug's interpretation of lankmar we had we, again this is one of those things we had many discussions like what the architecture of lankmar is so it's is so you can see maybe not but there's there's definitely a chicago influence uh <laughs> in, in doug's in doug's lankmar where if I was doing it, there would be a New York influence. Uh, Lankmar is whatever city you know best. So, yeah. that, that's, 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 so if you're if you're nervous about running it, remember that. Right, I'm gonna put this away for I kill myself. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going in. All right, oh! all right, that's it. We can't open it. <laughs> all right, oh. Oh. all right, aha. Okay, all right. We oh. <laughs> smaller cover. Yeah. <laughs> All right. we, can't, we can't afford a lot of Doug Kovacs, so we keep reusing his images. That's all right. This is the Russian doll of game design. This is it. It's just smaller and smaller covers that you're going in. All right. 
no. So, so this I'm taking. This looks like this looks like the main rule book right here. This looks like yeah. this. Well, not rule book. I'm sorry. This looks like okay. the adventure book. Right the main adventure. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. So let's let, let's see what's inside. Ooh, chart. And 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 this this that looks like a Brad McDevitt piece. I can recognize that right there. Look at that. That's 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 trouble. Yeah. I've I've been in that situation before. Yeah. You know, just you know. tumble off the roof. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Like, I mean, no. <laughs> oh, oh, this. oh, oh, and this is the um, is this the rooftop chase map here, or at least the the judges version of it? Is that what well, which, which page are you on? Look, page uh, 30, you know, page 25, it looks like 25. I it looks like a chase map. I see a oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's the um, yeah, that's the the Pogue um, chase map. Well, at least like it's the the, the, the judge's key. Mm -hmm. uh, as, as we dig deeper into the box set, um, you're going to find more evocative. But yes, that's, um, and he did such a beautiful job. Mm. Such a beautiful job. Like, and again, it's, 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 a, it's a vision of Lightmar that you know, we don't always get. Right. Look at, look at escaping thieves house, going full Fafford. <laughs> I, I know what that means. Um, <laughs> I went full Fafford once. That's why I end up on the rooftop. That's it. Right? That's it. Yeah, um, would you right. care to tell us what going full Fafford means? Oh, it's, 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 it's so, um, so that, I mean, it's not really a spoiler. The, the end of, of round one culminates. So that the PCs have come, they've, 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 they've navigated, you know, the, the environs of beneath Thieves' house. They've gone to these cellars, these hot, sweaty sub-basements and, and, and fought any sort of, 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 you know, foes, you know, some magical, some normal, mostly also just not getting lost in the dark. And then they come out and they're almost at the end of Escaping Thieves' house. And it opens, of course, you know, from the frying pan into the fire. And, and here's a completely mundane encounter. But by this time, you know, the PCs are worn down. You know, probably half of them are dead. And, it's, and it opens into the, into the guild hall. And, and there's all these, all these thieves and slayers, you know, they're, they're, having, they're having, you know, gruel. They're, they're, they're having their evening meal. Um, and so in this instant, that, that illustration that um, you're looking at, going full Fafford, um, it was Terry Olson. It was his game in which, um, you know, so the, 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 the PCs tried to come out of the secret door. They're like, oh, we can fight our way off. And, you know, instantly, you know, the wizard goes down, the thief goes down. There's just a single warrior left with his sword. I think he called it the Atlantean or something. And so the entire thieves go, is just funneling down into this basement. And we had this lone barbarian just hacking and hewing and hacking and hewing. And we had written into the, uh, into the encounter that, you know, if, if, if you manage to, like, slay enough thieves, and we won't tell you how many, you know, for those of you playing at home, but if you manage to, like, cause enough chaos, you know, the, the thieves are going to back off, right? They're, they're all cowards. They're not here to die. Like, if, if, I, if I see Mighty Mike Curtis go down, I'm not jumping in that hole after him. But they kept making the morale checks. And they kept making the morale checks. And there's just this one, you know, PC left. And finally, he, you know, he goes full Fafford. He throws himself into the fray, you know, you know, burns all his luck, manages to scatter the thieves, grabs his companions by their blood-soaked collars and hurls himself out of Thieves' house into the, you know, into the rooftops and out to round two. Um, Terry does a better recounting of how it went down in the adventure. But, um, but that, was, that was a really cool way that... Uh, you know, with it's essentially a mundane puzzle, right? There's just a lot of folks. There's nothing cool about that at all. But because it's overwhelming, all of a sudden you have to like think your way through. Um, really quickly, so Tim to Shane, his his group came to the same thing, and you know, and he had one of his one of his players thieves. They they snuck out and they're, they're actually mingling with all these thieves, right? And, uh, and he's like, all right, well, there's there's a slayer over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick his pocket or something, or it wasn't slayer, you know. But he, and 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 you know, and Tim is brilliant, and he sort of like successfully, you know, manages to pick this thief's pocket. Meanwhile, the you know the, the rotund cook and his little work slaves are working their way down the aisles, you know, pulling out gruel into everybody's wooden bowl. And the, and the, but the player thief he picks this guy's pocket, and he's like, well, what do I get? And Tim's like, make a luck check. He rolls underneath his luck. It's poison. Oh my goodness, he managed to get poison. Well, what are you going to do with it? You know, there's 30 thieves here. They're going to slaughter you and your party. The guy manages to do a reverse uh, pickpockets, pours the poison into the gruel, which is then doled out to the rest of Thieves' house. And it manages, you know, to, to like, you know, cause stomach cramps and slay half the thieves that are there. You know, the rest of them are all vomiting. The PCs make it their way out. I, we, we just have some of the coolest judges that ever you know, stepped foot into Gen Con. 
This sounds absolutely awesome. I can't wait to I can't wait to play it. This I'm so I can't play this one because I, I literally don't know what you know, like I know the general gist of it, but like you know, like this is I purposely kept myself, you know, in in the dark about this whole thing because one yeah. of these days I I because obviously I have some love for for the like bar setting and I would like to get that joy that everybody else gets to joy, you know, which I, I don't have. So all right. So. It was just so cool how the, how the, how the different groups of players came up with solutions to the identify completely the same problem. Uh, you know, and that's you know such at the the heart of what we love about role playing games. You know, it's not unique to DCC. It's like how are we going to solve this problem? And that's 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 when the magic happens, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and usually fire. That's it. <laughs> 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 yes. Minor, that, at least moderate that, arson. Yes, which is also true to the source text. Yeah. Hmm. So I, I I just I just noticed I love I love Stefan's here. I love I love Lankma. This is like oh. you know. This is it's it's like sesame. Is this is this is the street of sesame in in Lankbar. This is that. This, this is like you know it's it's the most vile street. But you learn your alphabet as you pro progress down it. This is wonderful. I love this. Song. <laughs> so, uh, all right. This is yeah. So the, the tournament unfolded over the course of three rounds. Mm -hmm. um, the first round is actually you know beneath thieves' house, and so you're you and your and your and your companions are attempting to. Um, you know, in media res, you're, you're attempting to locate a relic, acquire it, and then escape um, from beneath thieves' house. The, the second round takes place as you're fleeing all the thieves and all their allies in Nightmare. You're, you're fleeing across the rooftops, uh, attempting, you know, being led by Mingable's um, bottle all the way through to the far side to, to the Rainbow Palace. And then the third round unfolds within the Rainbow Palace itself. So now this is this booklet, the top booklet. This this is this is all three rounds, right? This is the yeah. this is the tournament book itself. Because yeah. we're we're about to we're about to look at other stuff here. But, yeah, no, no, let's dig into this. Uh, but all right, but that's that's pretty good. I like that. I like that. This is so now now here's a question. It says this was obviously designed as a tournament. Do you think do you think somebody can insert this into like an ongoing campaign, or is it just, well obviously oh. it killed it killed everybody in the tournament? So like I mean, I suppose if you wanted to end your campaign, you know, but hey, we're gonna play greatest Steve, you know. So, I mean, if you're sick of Langmar, you can use it to end your campaign. But no, yeah, no, absolutely. Can. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's um, the beginning is episodic, just like any good library story. Um, you know, it, it starts, you know, the action is moving, but all the important consequences of that action are going to unfold, um, you know, as in response to whatever the player characters decide to do. Okay, cool. All right. So here we go. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but that looks neat. All right. So this is a map. I, I, I'm sensing. This is maps, handouts, and tile booklet. I'm thinking this is here, you know. Yeah, which one are you see here? Um, this is, oh, full color inside. Look, look at this. When, when, since when do we start doing full color interiors? See, <laughs> this is where your heart spent, like Kickstarter money went, people. All right, this is just, you know. <laughs> this is thanks to the Kickstarters, for sure. Um, here, why don't, why don't you uh, flip to uh, page six? Page six. Is it, is it poisoned? Is it, ah, okay, look at this. All right. You're 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 right on right on tone. It's uh so there's a there's a sequence of Terry Olson. Um, oh God, we're doomed. <laughs> a series of Terry Olson puzzles that throughout this that um uh, they 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 follow from round to round. And so there's 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 a there's a there's a similar puzzle. There's an easy version in round one, a more challenging version in round two, and and then a, an incredibly difficult one in round three. That um. Yeah, that adventures you know that they carry over for that because yeah, this this looks like a tesseract to me so i mean this is literally you have to have four dimensional space in order to solve this apparently and i, I wouldn't i would put terror past terry like slipping in like five dimensions there when nobody was looking no that's your money your kickstarter money did not go to buying a fifth dimension i would tell you that much that's it if, if there's one there terry snuck it in all right no all right <laughs> Ooh, look at this look at this i can't believe look at all this color this is this is gorgeous all right Oh, this that looks that looks like and yet and now this now this if if I if I am if I'm correct, this here, this is underpants alley. Is that correct? The infamous underpants alley. All the all well not all, but many of the washer women and men of, of Lake Mar have their 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 un, their unmentionables hanging up and down the alleyway, and that's where our, our heroes are forced to flee through uh, in an attempt to es escape the slayers. They're, they're like a there's like a random skid mark table. 
don't want to know. I don't want to know. Come on. In the washroom, I mean, they're going to be pouring lye and scalding water down upon you. But uh, it was really sweet. One of the one of the teams. Um, it was I was I was running them through round two, and they as soon as we hit this, all of a sudden it became personal for them, and they were like they were throwing coins to the washerwomen, like they were all about like they they, they fell in love with the, the citizens of Nightmar here, and um, and we're you know we're like making friends all the way down to the encounter, which has nothing to do with the adventure whatsoever. You know, they, it was it was really wonderful. See, I mean that's I mean tournament tournament adventures are great. Uh, because you can win thieves tools and everything like that. But if you're putting this in like an ongoing campaign, it's like all those little side things that you do and those like those all have the great ramifications. So they they, you know, and especially with the kind of the open, the players really make up the plot of Lankmar as you go. You know, you never know when this is gonna come back and you know repay the campaign in spades, you know. So um, it, it was awesome. All right. Well, all right. So now so the player pack is so all right. What is it? What is a player pack? I know what a rat pack is. Uh, well, you need your pre-gens. You have your pre-generated characters that we provided for the for the players. Um, mm -hmm. And so uh, this is some of the brilliance of one Jen Brinkman. There's uh, there's some lower level characters, but then there's some higher level beaten up characters. Um, you know, they, they they have the they have the benefits of being fourth level instead of third level, but they they suffered a little bit. Uh, through through what it took to get them to fourth level, and so yeah, they're a little more tarnished, a little more world weary, as as, as you as you would expect. Yeah, no, oh, I just I love this. I love I love the fact we frequently ask questions, and it's like, what if I disagree with my judge? Now, apparently, this is for the tournament because if this oh. is real life, then like <laughs> you are you are sol, brother. I'm sorry. It's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, for the for the tournament, you know, we always have um, you know, so we have a table judge. And then there's always this, at least when we did in-person tournaments, as we hope to do again one day, there was a, like a roving pit boss um, who would go from table to table. So anytime you had a question, anytime you needed something that needed to be fair across tables, you'd be like, like throw up a flag and be like, Terry, Mark, you know, I need, I need a ruling on this. And then they, they would kind of file that away in the back of their head. So if that situation came up at any other table, they could com communicate that information to make sure it was a fair across to everybody. All right. Cool. This is, oh. You know what? So, I I I wish I was running a fourth level light bar adventure for uh, for Empire of Cyclops Con because apparently a lot of my work will be done for me. But you know. <laughs> there's there's still time. I think you can still get your submissions in. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh it got experience experience points and everything. All right, that's pretty neat. All right. Oh, and now the judges back. Oh, can we can we actually show the judges back, or is there like secrets in here that you know? And that only, that only, you know what's actually cool about the judges pack is if um, if you flip it open. You know, there's 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 tournament results, and it, and it, and it gives kind of a, how we it, give, it gives an indication of how to you know to run the scoring and like mm. so there's different rules we use for um, for a tournament. For instance, like like mighty deeds of arms. You know, they're they're so wild, they're so potentially big. We have to standardize a lot of that stuff. So it's a it's a special version of DCC that we're running when we're when we're doing the tournament, and, and that's where a lot of it that you find in the, in the, in the tournament pack. Um, but it's also like a kind of a you know get to see you know how the sausage is being. There's the there's the schedule, uh, you know the guidelines and rules. Talks about um, you know critical hits. How how we're going to apply all those. Um, and, and so it's it's if you, if you wanted to run this as you know for your for your home con or something, you, you manage to get like three or four tables at your you know FLGS. I love this. I love the, uh, you have a list of the most popular pregens. <laughs> Mark can crush some numbers. Uh, amazing. So yeah, so number one, the Lankmar Wizard level three was yeah. present in twenty-two out of the twenty-seven teams. Well, you know, okay. why you wizard? Uh, now, so, uh, this, oh, it's oh, uh, let's see, notable team composition: bench. Redundancy Incorporated, teams with three or more warriors. There were two of them. All right. <laughs> so, all right. This is this is a a. I I almost feel like I was there just reading this alone. <laughs> oh. um, we have the, uh, of course everything broken down the percentile of fatalities. So you know. So this is uh. You know, we know what exactly is uh. You know you can you can. <laughs> yeah. How lethal of a judge am I? That's it. You know this is this is also a little known fact. This is this is how we get uh you know salary increases here at Goodman Games. It was just you know I mean we jockey back and forth. Sorry, Curtis, you didn't kill enough people this year. You're right. No, no. 
<laughs> it's really cool. Like this was probably one of the more enjoyable adventures to run like, tournament wise, but also ended up being mo the most lethal. Um, we, we didn't understand, like, it, we were all having so much fun playing the game. We didn't appreciate just how many of the PCs were done. It, it was, it was, it was surprising. <laughs> are, they, are, are those two factors connected? Well, I don't know. Uh, but the, uh, our, our tournament two years ago, um, you know, the 2018 Gen Con tournament was just a slaughterhouse and everyone was just like, you know, I, Jeff Goad made people cry at the table. <laughs> Players left crying. And I was like, oh, but this, this adventure was more deadly and yet lighthearted and enjoyable and everyone that was able to leave the table, I hope, you know, feeling really good about it today. That, that sounds like library's writing, you know, I mean, there's a, yeah. there's a certain amount of lethality, except, except usually for everybody who crosses paths with Faffer and the Great Mouser, very rarely with Faffer and the Great Mouser, but, you know, uh, but, but there is certainly some jovialness. That's like, that's like the, uh, when it said, you know, going full Fafford, my, my favorite going full Fafford moment is, is to my, to my mind, is the greatest bit of literary work that Liber has ever done in any of the stories, and that is the opening chapter. You see the opening chapter of the second. It's the first time Fafford and Great Master show up in the Swords of Lankmar, which is the full, the full novel, which is them literally, they're returning to Lankmar after an adventure when wow. things have not gone according to plan and everything, and literally everybody they owe money to in Lankmar is waiting for them at the gate. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. And and the reason that the, the reason that Fafford owes some money to the owner of the Silver Ear is because before he left to go on the adventure, there was a bar brawl where he had to set fire to kegs of brandy and throw them at people in order to make it out of the bar brawl. So that to me is always going full Fafford, you know. That's <laughs> so, yeah. Just giant Molotov cocktails. <laughs> oh. All right. So this is scoring sheets. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. You know, yeah, I mean, exactly what you'd expect. No, this is this is like, there you go. Can your home group beat the Gen Con pros? Yeah. That sounds that sounds like a challenge. Yeah. So don't 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 yeah, don't don't reveal that too much. This is actually this is this is the this is the meat of of, of how how players advance and, and what they do. And um flip Harley a 50? They, that, 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 that's <laughs> worth two points. <laughs> no, no, but Mark has always done a wonderful job. They're like so this, this, you know, so the, the scoring sheets are never actually revealed to our judges um, when they're running the tournament. They'll, they'll report back, you know, who, how, how many people died here and, uh, you know, when, we, when did they go unconscious here and how many bled out and that sort of thing and how far did they get. Um, but at no point, you know, is it revealed, you know, okay, well, if they do X, Y, and Z, they're going to get this sort of point. And so, the, so it's a, almost like a double blind. Like the players don't know, the judges don't know. Mark, no, I, I wouldn't even know, you know, but we sit down with Mark, we report back, you know, how the session went, how it unfolded, and then he calculates the tally. Uh -huh. so that, that, that secret formula is All right. All right. So that's, that's, that's interesting. I mean, there's all this stuff going on in tournaments, which I know nothing about because I don't want them. <laughs> <laughs> I th that's just because that's just I'm deaf. <laughs> I can't really be in a giant room full of screaming people for hours on time. All right, this now we're, I literally have to tip this thing over, start getting stuff out here. This looks to me like a map. This it's looks to me like I don't think I don't think I'm ever going to be able to like like unroll this and fill up everything here. But I have to like like I'm, stand I'm, it up and fold it out. I, yeah. I bet you. I bet you. Look, I bet this map is so huge I can get this on two cameras. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. It's gonna be gigantic here. Look at this. Look at this. I'm bending time and space here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. That's that's how gigantic of a map that is. And, and this it's, looks, it's, man, this looks and, 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 and it's and it's thick, right? You know, it's a laminate. Like it's that's a solid. Oh, you know, and then and, and it's the Stephen Pogue version. You know, and it's so. I mean, you know, maybe maybe my camera can get on better. But it's you know, it's enormous. Look at that. This 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 puzzle that the uh, the, the the PCs are 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 forced to to. To, to work their way through. So, so that, that comes into play in, in, in the second round, right? So they're fleeing across the rooftops. Um, well, I, actually, let, let's keep digging a little bit more, but I'll talk about that more in just a second. Um, okay. Let's see. Yeah. Do you, because um, be, a little further beneath that, you're going to run into those punchable, like those really thick tiles, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so, if, you, you can see the tiles, the tiles show, they're, they're essentially depicting rooftops and where you can flee on top of that rooftop. Uh -huh. And so, you know, if I, was, if I was here, I could only make a left-hand turn. Or if I was here, I might be able to go three different directions. If I was coming in here. And so the players are 
are navigating that, that massive Hogue map, sprinting across the rooftops. They're randomly drawing tiles because they're, you know, fleeing blindly across the rooftops of Nightmare. They, and so you, you draw a tile and it's like, oh, this can go left or right. And then, and then so they're slowly navigating their way, you know, through the rooftops of Nightmare, reaching encounters when, when, they've, when they've gone too far. Sometimes there's dead ends and, you know, the mob is chasing them down this whole time. So you don't want to have to backtrack at all. But sometimes you're forced to, you have to fight your way back through the mob, you know, get to the, you know, the next intersection and continue on. And that's, so that's what those, those tiles you see, those punchable tiles and that Stefan Pogue massive map, that, that really is like the framework bounding all of, all of round two. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's see, that, that this, is, this, is a, this is a useful piece of paper that, uh, that I'm not gonna show uh, <laughs> because, uh, because this is, that's, that's, that's where you get your, your download code and everything. So, all right, so, all right. So, uh, but if you get the box, you get that itself. So you get, you get as always with Grippy Games, you get the physical and, and, and the electronic version. All right. All right, we're getting, we're getting deeper in here. This, this uh, there's there's like more adventures in here. I thought I thought the tournament was over, and I still got like a, like a half an inch of box left of stuff in here. And Nightmar, even death won't save you. So you have a um, Stephen Bean. So so a, a comment from previous uh, tournaments was people were upset um, when they when their characters had died and the, and, the, and the session was over. And and for some of our tables, that's literally five minutes into the tournament. Mm -hmm. And, and, and there's there's a couple of schools of thought. There's all the judges that run these and they're like, yeah, that's the tournament. That's how it goes. You you, <laughs> you, paid, you paid $8 or whatever, you showed up, you made poor choices, you died, you're done. Um, but then Joseph weighed in. <laughs> He's like, no, these are these are customers, guys. Let's 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 do something for them so they can enjoy the remaining, you know, three or four hours of their session, three hours of their session. And so Stephen Bean wrote uh, a supplementary adventure that you can use once, once, what, if there was a TPK, for instance, yep. you can start playing this after, after the, the you know, dice, the flight. Dice, dicing with death. There you go. With death, yes. Um, but it is interesting how for our, I, I don't think any of the veteran judges, it'd be interesting to hear Walls talk about it or Shane or Co or any of those guys, like Eric Dom or Haley, but um you know, they're, they're all, they're all pretty hardcore, not, in, not in an antagonistic way, but you know, once, once, once the game's done, you know, the, the tournament's over, they'll, they'll, they're, they're fair, they're fair, they're fair. And then, bam, you know, the guillotine comes down and the, and the, and the session's done. But yeah, so this is, this is for what you can do with those remaining three hours after you. <laughs> after you've, you've, you've come to an untimely end in underpants alley. That's it. You know, and, yeah. so, so now see now, now is there actual dice used in dicing with death? Do you recall? Um, I, I actually, I never ran it. Like when we're, when we're running into like prepping for the tournament, it is the tournament itself is all we talk or think about it, our waking hours at, at Gen Con. Um, right. There's time, you know, at the booth, but we had, we had a table set up where they would like, you know, potentially be running dice in death. But for those of us running the tournament, it was all just like focused in on the, all right guys, how are we going to run this encounter? How are we going to run this encounter? How did we agree we're going to do this? So uh, I dicey with death. I'm ignorant of other than that I know Stephen Bean is a wonderful man and a, like I mean he's been with Goodman Games since forever. So I'm just I'm just saying it's like you know like if uh, we it feels like it feels like we could have snuck in a you know a rat snake dice tube plug in here. Oh no, yeah. he should, you know. he has a rat snake in there. Um, yeah, yeah. But I, I don't <laughs> like this. I don't know where you'd put it. Like I, you would I, do like a <laughs> box for your box. <laughs> but it's okay. they're out of print anyway right now so so all right look at look at oh my goodness <laughs> I, don't, I just want to i just one of the things i love about dcc like i have no idea what the heck that is i'm not sure i want to you know this looks like it's like a venus fly trap and not like not like the you know wkrp in cincinnati venus fly track i mean like you know honest goodness venus fly trap meets some sort of sea an enemy um you know in a dark alley and is there to, to mess you up no all right Cool. All right, man. It's just, I, I feel like I feel like we've reached. Oh my! Hand out what? Hey, hand out a. You're dead. You know what? I, when I shuffle off the mortal coil, I hope like they. You know, I hope the afterlife has better props than this. You know, I don't want to hear. You know, I want at least what is it? The Beetlejuice, the big book of you know, like you know, the afterlife, whatever it is. You know, 
I don't want a crappy, you know, black and white handout. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. This, oh my. Die cut. Yeah. Die. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the thickness I, of these things, man. I believe this. Look at this. Look at this. This is, this is. This is like all right, all right, look at that. that. I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at. That's some heavy duty cardstock there. Yes, and, no. and this this ain't this ain't print this out at home and then cut it out. This is look at this. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna ruin I'm gonna ruin the pristine value of this product right now. So look at this, look at this. <laughs> punched out, punched out. Oh it to be laid down on your map. That yes, is, it's absolutely incredible. Right. And, they're, and they're solid, you know, and, and that's again, that's that's thanks to the backers that, that, that made that possible. I mean, you know, if if, if the Kickstarter hadn't done so well, you know, we would be sending PDFs to everybody like, well, cut them in your two inch squares and make sure they fit right. But, um, but instead, you know, we, we have this, which is just awesome. Yeah. You know what I say? I, you, this, you know, there's that like $400, uh, like Ravenloft, uh, oh, set right. with the sock puppets and all the rest of that stuff. I would put this up against that any day of the week. Guys, that, I mean, there are no sock puppets in here, but I, I, I'm pretty proud of, of, of what Goodman Games put together with this product. This, and this and this is this is just not like a one and done. Look at that. I mean, we've got well, look at that. We've got like like six what was it? six six sheets of this stuff. Well, I, mean, I mean, like go back to Pogue's map, man. Like you have I you, you have, have to like traverse, like you're gonna need a few tiles. <laughs> like, yeah. This is I you know what? I if <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I have to find like other uses for this stuff now. I was like, you know, I mean, it's so, I got... cool. it's so cool. And 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 Pogue did such a beautiful job. Like, you know, and the, and the tiles aren't just arbitrary. Like, you know, where 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 it shows, like, you know, the, the the buildings are connected where it goes in four directions. And so you could use this, you know, as for for the next chase you ran in Lakemar or you mm. know, whatever whatever you know whatever city street you know you wanted to emulate. You know, it's it's two hours after midnight. You know, you can right. use this to. Uh, you know, describe how it goes down. It's a, it's a better chase mechanism than anything I've seen in like published, you know, like was it like Call of Cthulhu now has rules for chases and D&D &D sure, sure. 5e has rules for chases and everything like screw rules, we got tiles. Just throw this down. <laughs> like, which way you're going to go? I don't know. Which is, I don't even, I don't, even the, even the, even the, uh, the judge doesn't know which way you're going. It's, it's, it's all Mark Bruner. It's, it, it's literally, yeah. You know, it's all Mark Bruner. Somebody should put that man on like a high profile, you know, project or something. You know, he should, right. you know, he should, he should probably of, do good. Uh, of tiles, real quick. Um, <laughs> I am getting a request from Twitch chat to from Judge Jen herself to flip through those uh, those little cutouts because they're not all <laughs> light tops. Oh, okay. Also, I I'm a little mad at you. You hurt my soul punching out those two. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh, oh. Jen is good. She's totally right. Keep flipping. Keep all flipping. Right. All right. So, all right. So here's, all right. So this is rooftop. Rooftop. Uh oh, it's my apartment. No, I'm. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this. Encounters. Look at encounters. Okay. Okay. Right, there we go. Encounters. Look at this. Look at this. A motley looking, motley looking bunch. Right. Letters. You got some dead ends there. You, you know, you dead ends. Oh, this stinks. Now I got to go back to the mob. Blank, blank ones. Right. Keep you going. Know, so design your own here. And um, I can't believe it. The set comes with pogs. I just, <laughs> just when you thought pogs have only gone out, and oh no, these are fleeting luck tokens. That's what they are. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh and that's, that's, well, that's, look at this. A set of, I'm going to see, uh, quick doing math, uh, 11. 11 luck, luck tokens right that's what that's about it see yeah. this i'm a word monkey i don't do math that, that, I love, a bevy a bevy of luck tokens and i i now i'm going to guess that some of these are brand new the designs are brand new never before seen because i don't recall some of these from the ones that we were selling at gen con back in the uh, world that was yeah so, these are definitely newer than that i wonder though are these are these, these must be the same designs that were included in the the Kickstarter luck token set. Right? What a couple of them are. Like I remember, I remember all like the cats and everything, but I, I don't recall the gods of Langbar and everything. So yeah. So, somehow I knew Jen would know. <laughs> so yeah. So nine are new. The row of the rows of three. The rows of three. Okay. Yeah. So these ones are new. And these ones are the old ones. All right. There you go. Okay. And ice cream. 
and ice cream. It's some sort of Japanese candy, right? That's what this is. That's what uh, this looks like. It's like it's Pocky. It's, <laughs> it, the, the game comes with Pocky. If, 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 okay, players, those of you playing at home, if you make it to this encounter and the judge starts handing these out, you're so, you have to pay attention. You absolutely have to pay attention. Because, yeah, like these are the, these are the handouts for probably the most difficult puzzle in, in the entire, in the entire tournament of all three rounds. If you make it here, the judge starts popping these out. You know you've done well, but you're, you're in for a treat because, uh, Mike Bruder's final puzzle. Nobody saw it. Nobody got through it. And <laughs> I'm not sure that it can be done. I mean, I mean, it's 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 all, all the all the parts are there. All all the all the uh, you know you have all the clues you need to solve the puzzle, but it's it's bad day. It's it, yeah, you did an amazing job. I, I'm just saying, the last time that somebody offered me like a, a red symbol and a blue symbol and everything, it was Lars Fishburne wearing a pair of sunglasses, and you know, I'm. <laughs> You know, maybe I should take in the orange triangle. <laughs> oh, all right. That that's poor. That is that's amazing. I can't I can't believe how much goodness is in here. See, now here's here's the thing though. It's like I I, I got you know that that's the box set I got, and I'm assuming that there's some overlap here. But I got other stuff. All right. So you know, so let me let me pack this up a little little bit here and everything. So does it, while I'm packing up, does anybody have any questions? Does that mean for for Harley Harley? Or, or me because I don't know anything about this but you know so other than that encounter that <laughs> that we just went through with the shapes and making us do geometry all over again yes. um, <laughs> are you is there another difficult encounter that you can give us without spoilers absolutely well yes yeah, so there's um there's there's one encounter uh, written by Terry Olson um which is in a room where the where the walls and this this center pillar, although the walls are all covered in, in incredibly sharp coral and seashells, and there's this center pillar with with like shackles and manacles and chains on it, um, and every every single party that made it to there died there, um, with I think with the exception of uh, one one PC from one group made it through. I won't I won't tell you how or where in the room that character escaped, but simply by making it through, um, put them far enough ahead to, uh, to, to win the tournament. Um, everyone else got to Terry Olson's room, you know, bad things started unfolding, and there's just that, that I don't know, it's like, you, 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 we've played enough DCC that, you know, we see the spiral and it starts to go down, like, you know, the clear drops or, you know, like, you know, the disapprovals you know, here, but, and then just like everything just starts to go wrong for the party. And it's just like inexorable at that point. And it's, 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 it's fun to play out at the table because they're so desperate. There's just the slimmest chance they might survive. But um, yeah, it was Terry's, Terry's coral, coral manacle room that um, was, was one where we actually saw the most players, uh, PCs drop. All right, so all right, so this is this is the box set. All right, now, so I, you know, I obviously, if you back the Kickstarter, it was. I, I'm sensing that there were other stretch goals or perhaps other tiers because I've got more than this in the box that arrived. You know, for me, for example, I'm gonna put this away here. Look at that magic. All right, look at, look at sorcery. Ooh, now you see it. Now you don't. Look at this. Look at, all right, all right. I also have this, which is appears to be scoring sheets. Yes. Yet in more shrink wrap. And on the other side, it says tournament supply pack. Do you know anything about this, Harley? I'm going to open it. I'm, I'm not sure I got one of these. I should have backed it at a higher level so I could have gotten a tournament supply pack. Oh, I it's supposed to be like the, the, the player pack, judges pack, and uh, the scoring sheet, most likely, right? So I, I'm sensing this might be doubles, or so you can you know run this at home. Okay. Um, yeah. But could, but it wasn't you know it wasn't in the box because maybe no more room left in the box. No, all right. <laughs> Oh, all right, so open this up here. Oh. All right, so the scoring sheets we've seen, well, the outside of, no, scoring, scoring, scoring sheets. See, I can never be a TV weatherman. The scoring sheets. There we go. All right, all right. So this is, oh, this we won't look at there. More, more, some, more Lembus bread. That's it. <laughs> Get more, more scoring sheets. Aha! This, this looks like. Oh, I'm beginning to see a pattern here. So this is, so with this pack, you can run Great Season Like Mar at least one, two, three, 
four, five times, five player packs and three scoring sheets. You, you could run your own little mini convention. And, and actually, you'd let the, the, the groups, like, you wouldn't, nobody would have to, like, tap out. You know, like, you could, like, they could, you could get five different tables, like, all right, guys, we're all going to, you guys are all going to run round one and see how far you can get, you know, before everyone TBKs. And then all five tables are going to continue on and play round two as far as they can go. And then all five tables are going to play round three as far as they can go. And that would be a cool way of uh, getting, you know, having, giving players the opportunity to experience, you know, as uh, much as the adventure as possible. Mm. Now, do you know, do, does the, if you back the Kickstarter, does this come with the box set? Do I you know? cannot tell you. Uh, Jen? <laughs> Judge Jen? <laughs> do, do you know? The Kickstarter page, but uh, I'm sure everyone knows their uh, their rewards well enough to know whether they should expect. 20 bucks extra. But that's, that's 20 bucks well spot. So you're getting, so that's, that's look, there's uh, seven booklets. That's less than three bucks a booklet. <laughs> I can even do that, man. There you go. And you want to something? Once you own this, once you own this, you can photocopy it, and we won't say each spot. No, no that's it. So you're, it's, it's an investment in your future, people. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, but but wait, there's more. There's more. All, right. <laughs> all right. Now, see, now some people like their underwear. They don't like that they have strange creases in it. So. Apparently available was this, the Lankmar Chase, look at that, Lankmar Rooftop Chase map, which comes in one of the greatest ways to send maps, the, what is called a tube. You know, tube is one of my favorite words, just because I like saying tube. <laughs> I mean, really, like tube, that's it, you know, I, I'm going to open this up too. I think I know what's in here, but you know. Well, now, now your Pogue illustration is suitable for framing, right? It doesn't. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you can lay it out on the table. All right. Look at it. I, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this out. Look at this. I'm gonna take this out. It goes in there, and and I'm not gonna be able to display it because <laughs> I don't have the room to display it. But it comes with, look, it comes with the option. You can get the rolled up tube version. I said tube version. Um, uh, for perfect for display, uh, for handing down as as heirlooms. You know, because your great grandchild may one day require a tube, Matt. You know, actually, this is. I have to say, this actually doesn't. It's it's a. It's actually it's a container. It's not technically a tube, but it's rolled up into like a tube. So, all right, so it's tube tube adjacent. So. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. I think yeah. so. You know, I wish we actually had more physical con conventions these days. You know, could we actually bring this stuff out and like use it? You know, so. Right, right. right. Well, that was probably due directly to. Um... To you know your Lankmar maps in the you know because so many people wanted those, those Lankmar maps in the you know Lankmar box set and not flip you know so that this is mm -hmm. a spiritual descendant of, of that impulse. And you know what? You think we're done? Well, <laughs> but we there's 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 yet another thing which unfortunately I left over there, so I gotta go get it. So right. Harley, entertain, vamp. So, well, uh, well, Mike and his he, Mike goes in search of another tube, which is actually a tube. Does uh, any of our, our listeners or watchers have any questions? Well, whoop, he's back. Uh, you, you know, no, I mean, we, 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 we've got time. But I, like, it's like literally, it's right over there. My office is this big. So, you know, so, right, so, like, if my arms were six inches taller, I wouldn't even have to get up. So, you know, so, if, if I was Keith, if I was a Yeti, I could reach it from where I was. But, you know, I'm unfortunately, I'm not. So, we only, only have one Yeti. All right. Any questions? Never mind. That's it. <laughs> I have right. not gotten any questions from chat so far. So if any of you guys are wondering about uh, the Kickstarter or what's in the box or anything about the adventure that you're curious about uh, that you haven't played yourselves, feel free to ask. Mm -hmm. And and if and if we if we preseason the water with any questions that nobody has asked yet, you know, a certain host could you know say that as well. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I have some questions. I've just been holding off. Like you guys, you guys have been pretty good at keeping on track. You're, you're, you're good. We try. But we've got to fill ten minutes. I got one tube left. So now, what's <laughs> in might as well take a question. What did you, you go get? What, what do you have? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> we're we're going to go to the tube, and then for the questions. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So this. Look at that. That's. Can you believe that you know the available? Oh, I should, I'm sorry. You should probably should probably show that. Like, all, right. all right. So, all right, which you still can't see. But look at that. Look at that. Kind of my you know 
my forty dollar webcam from Amazon is just it, failing me now. Oh, you know what? I'm is just, that I'm just... some dice? No, no it's no. not. Surprisingly, okay. surprisingly, you would think it is because it comes in a. It, it does look like a tube. There you go. So, all right, all right. Okay, you're right. Tube is fun to say. Is it fun to say? It's a great word. It's it 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 has a. It says verbal. Oh, what what is that? What is that? There's a Japanese word for texture of food. Um, uh, anumami. I think that's it. It's like verbal anumami tube. All right, there we go. All right, so all right, I'm gonna open this up here, and look at that. Look at that. Oh, a collection of luck tokens. Yeah. Inconvenient poker size, poker chip size. Um, how many how many chips would you say are in here? Okay. Jen knows the precise number because she lives, she like she was more, more than eleven. <laughs> more than 11. <laughs> Somewhere between eleven and infinity. No, that's it. Actually, it does say and Jen just says it just says those are 40 luck tokens. Now I've been running Lankmar since longer than most people have, you know, just what with getting it on the ground floor and all. I've never given out 40 luck tokens or a certain single session. You know, I mean, you know, maybe that's just me, but um, I think you're covered. <laughs> Even once your player starts stealing them, because, you know, I mean, there's a couple in here, which, you know, I mean, you know, obviously you can only get with this set. So this is, uh, this is, uh, oh, what's, oh, no, that's, that's just tape. All right. Uh, I thought there was more, but it was just, it was just tape holding on the top there. All right. More than, yes, yes. More than your PCs will ever get. That's exactly, that's how many, that's how much luck is in here. Um, and, uh, and just, just so you know, the honest breakdown of the money that's coming in here, as <laughs> a nickel, that anybody knows that reference. Um, so this is 40, these are 40 luck tokens for retail price, $40. That's a bucket token. I, I, I charge you to get a better deal than that anywhere except the night market. <laughs> so, right. Wow. So this is, this is quite, this, this, a, it's a working amount of stuff. Yeah. I, I cannot believe how well this Kickstarter delivered. It, it, no. it, it could. Yeah. No, the, the backers were amazing and it, they, they helped create something that turned out really, really cool. That we can all be really proud of. And, you know, I think there's more than, you know, there's a whole host of, well, actually let's, let's go in there. Let's, 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 let's read off the authors because it wasn't just, it wasn't just me. It wasn't just Mark, you know, but we have uh, Julian Vermick, Mike Bolum, one Bob Brinkman, Mark Brunner, Alistair Cunningham, who was uh, the author of two of the really interesting encounters in the chase, he did uh, he did Underpants Alley. Uh, we got Mr. Tim Deshane, Marzio. Help me out here, Mike. Machete? Uh, Marzio. Uh, yes, unless he says otherwise. Marzio, yeah. you're out there. Phonetically pronounce your name. <laughs> we got Terry Olson and uh, one mighty Thorin Thompson. Um, with additional content and editing by our own Jen Brinkman, but they, you know, between those authors and you know the artists, and then with the the, the, the Kickstarter, the you know the backers that, that gave us the ability to actually like physically produce a product this cool. Um, yeah, I mean, it's something we can all be really proud of. It, it's a community effort. That's what I'm trying to say. Marcio Mushedre. There we go. There we go. Thank you very much, Magic Mike Noy. I'm going to Magnifico. That's the best thing you thought about. Wow. So, that, I can't, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. You know, I feel we need to have like another like Mark Kickstarter at some point, which we are not announcing tonight. So, just just want your hopes up. There's still work to be done. There's still, we've still got other stuff coming, obviously, as you know. There's a little thing called Dying Earth and like X-Crawl Classics. And, you know, if you've been paying attention, you know there's stuff in the, I was going to say tube, but it's more like pipe, you know. So, all right. So, but, but technically, pipe is a tube. So, you know, we're all good or anything. So, there you go. <laughs> all, right. all right. So, all right. So, we've got we've got six minutes to kill. And so, uh, so what about uh, what what about some of our our preloaded questions? Why I clean up my desk here. So, I have about uh, four questions left, thanks to Mr. Harley Stro. Um, I'm gonna roll a four sided. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the first one. So, uh, on page seven in the rule book, what's up with that prob blah, 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 probability table? Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so one of the challenges of a tournament is that everything needs to be accounted for 
Um, but then you take that to the, the cellars beneath Thieves' house, and their defining element is that they're a winding maze, which is almost, you know, incomparable. You know, you, you, know, they, you get lost out there. Like, you know, Fafford's stumbling around in the dark. He's hitting his head on things. But, it, but it, that's really difficult to um, supply in a tournament setting. So if, if you choose to ignore the bobble and, and kind of wind your own way through the cellars, we didn't want to, we didn't want to force players to only go one direction. We wanted to like really lean into Lake Mar, lean into you know, the story beneath Thieves' house, really give them the ability to wander around in the darkness and, and bonk their heads and get lost and and who knows what, you know, slowly their torches are burning out and they ran out of water and rum 14 hours ago. So, if, but um, one of the challenges is if you, if you wander off path, if you try to do something else, um, it makes it really, you know, harder and harder and harder to find your way back, you know, to wherever the, the, the bobble is trying to lead you. So the probability table is Terry Olson saying, there, there's, there's, there's a, essentially there's a number you need to roll on, on a die in order to find your way back to the uh, to the to to the to the proper path that uh, Mingable wants to send you along, and and Terry breaks out those numbers as 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 you know, and as the die winds down, you know the the, the odds you know, become less and less that the PCs are going to make it there, and so he extrapolated you know what what those odds actually were, and it was cool. We had we had some we had some you know groups you know just die out there in the darkness, really thinking that they were going to be able to. Um, you know, find their way out of Thieves' house, you know, without the aid of Mingable, but it didn't work out that way. How about two pages over from that? Uh, what's okay. up with the people riding polar bears? Okay. What, what's up with that, man? Oh, you know, Haley Sketch, wherever you are, God bless you. So um, our, our pregens, they came with uh, Summon Animals. And I will never run another game with summon animal. So what happened is, um, you know, we're about five in, five minutes in, and I see Haley's hand shoot up or something. You know, she's looking at me. I'm the pit boss for round one, right? And and she, I, I, you know, run over to her table and she, you know, in a hushed whisper, like they somebody burned a nat twenty on on summon animal, and then you know, and like in you know, burned fleeting luck all the way down. So they, they've summoned twenty five polar bears. Right. And she's like, Harley, what do I do? I'm like, well, you know, we're here. We got to stand up 25 polar bears and see how it unfolds. Um, same thing happened at Mark's table. Like, uh, I think he had like 25 giant lions or something. And, um, and so, yeah, so that's what you see there is, is a visual representation of what actually happened in the tournament where they, they, they summoned all these, uh, these, these beasts, like, you know, 1400 hit points worth of, of, of allies. And um, in both instances, it was Marzio's room that pretty much wiped the table of the beasts. <laughs> it was really cool. Like, like, they're, they're five minutes in. I have, you know, 500 hit points and allies, and they're not going to make it back to the next, past the next room because uh, Marzio wrote it, and it's brilliant. Uh, you you don't see you don't see twenty five polar bears in two Maharas. I'm just I'm just that's what I'm saying. I you know yeah you know um, yeah. Anyways, they, they, so, you know, Haley did a great job, you know, adjudicating it. Mark did a beautiful job. That's, that's where that illustration comes from. That's, that's, that's the source. So this is, this is crazy. I'm, 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 I'm so happy that this is. So this is, for those of you, this is, if you do not already have it, this is, a, the box set is $60. And as you can say, it is packed, jam-packed with stuff. You definitely got your money's worth, uh, you know, extra 20 bucks for the, uh, for the, for the scoring sheets and stuff. If that's your flavor, uh, you know, it was, it, was, it was worth saying it was cheaper to the, uh, to the Kickstarter, right? Well, that's, was, that's the benefit of supporting Kickstarter. You know, I mean, you yeah, sometimes have to wait a little bit longer, but you know, yeah. um, the, the folks that jumped in and backed it, they, they, it was less expensive for them than it is going to be at retail. The, the map has no, uh, has no price on it. So it might've been a Kickstarter exclusive. So, it's you know, Seven prices, and then uh, and then the forty bucks for the um for for the dice. I mean for, for the tokens. So you got me, you know, you got me. So got dice, but not all right. Uh, that's a different Kickstarter. <laughs> so that's that's awesome. Um, you know, I cannot wait to actually play through this at some point. Um, you know, uh, keep Terry the hell away from it when he's when I'm running it because I you know I want to see how this thing ends. Uh, you know, I'll let uh, <laughs> so um all right. So that's that. I think. Uh, so, uh, you know, the clock on the walls is, you know, it's about time for us to wrap things up. So I would like to thank everybody for, for, for joining us, 
you know, I hope you have nothing better to do on a, on a Wednesday night, except see Harley and I unbox stuff. Now, if this is really popular, we promise we'll unbox more stuff. <laughs> we'll make a box. Post, post office boxes, you know, box yeah. of armor and hammer. I don't know. You know I think, nah, we'll no. make sure that there's more tubes. Yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Can't go wrong with more tubes, you know. Yeah, just... Thanks, thanks for turning out, everybody. Um, yeah, and thank you for making the box set possible. Thank you for the, you know, those of you that want you know chose to play in the tournament. And uh, yeah, I, please let, let us know how the uh, how the games go. It'd be, it'd be really cool to hear. You know, next time we're in person at a con, I'd love to hear how the adventure went down. Mm, definitely. All right. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. And uh, you know, uh, what what's what what are all the cool kids say? Uh, like, subscribe, uh, you know, whatever. Boost our algorithm. Uh, make sure that you know the the, the, the bills get paid. That's it. You know. yeah, you Alana, you know about that more of that stuff. If, you, if what, you're what, not what following, you follow now. <laughs> Since this is a live stream, just hit that follow button. Hit that subscribe button. It is September, so you get like twenty percent off for the next couple of days. Do it. <laughs> there you go. All right. No. All right. Um, um, well, with that, I got nothing left to say. So I can't think of a better time to leave than to now. So goodbye, everybody. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you. Mm -hmm.